special package in the mail. <laughs> Just does something to me. <laughs> Let's get into it. Amazon haul. <laughs> Some of the confessions of a crappy Christian. I was in tears. Oh my gosh. Baby sister, baby brother. and by him all things hold together. Despicable. Because we only got 350 miles. It didn't even fill the tank up. This gas station only does $100 limit per transaction. And I did not feel like sitting there through another transaction. Transaction. I am going to the gym today. And then I gotta run some errands and I gotta pick up some packages. So let's go have a day. Guys, the person in front of me paid for my Starbucks. I don't know who to thank, but thank you person out there that paid for my Starbucks, Illy. Anyways, another news, I got a matcha today, a matcha with soy milk. It's absolutely delicious. I was feeling a little mellow today. Guys, we got a special, special package in the mail. We are going to be doing a little bit of renovations across the RV, starting with our master bedroom, which needs the most TLC. We just got a brand new mattress thanks to Brooklyn Bedding. They sent over an RV mattress. I'll show you guys the whole thing, but I wanted to open it up on camera. Okay. Oh. By the way, I probably should have said something before, but I'm editing these clips now and I realized I never told you guys why I opened it in the living room in the first place. And it's because our situation is a little bit different. We have a bassinet literally bolted to the side of our bed and it was just like too much of a hassle to take it off. So we decided to unbox it in the living room, let it inflate out here and then take it into the bedroom and slide it on the bed frame. But if you're just anyone else, you could literally just open it up on the empty bed frame and it'll inflate right in place. answer why it's so oddly satisfying like it just gives me like all the serotonin I need to watch a mattress that is vacuum sealed come to life puff up inflate Ugh, just does something to me Brooklyn bedding is known for their top-of-the-line comfort and quality plus their mattresses are made right here in the US and they are shipped conveniently to your door for free they also offer different firmness options different heights and dimensions and even RV specific and non-traditional sizes that will fit right into your lifestyle You guys, this is actually the comfiest bed I've ever laid on. It's so heavy, so I definitely need Sam's help to go put it in the bed. I was gonna surprise him when he got off work to come home to a fresh, comfy new bed, but now he's gonna come home from work to having to take our old mattress out and putting the new one in. Oh, this is cool. It comes with little handles on the side. So this will be easy to help carry it into the bedroom. Gosh, it's massive. Push. It's really nice, super comfy. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you will receive a 120 night sleep trial with a 10 year warranty. And like I mentioned before, it is delivered straight to your door for free. 
And since they manufacture right here in the US, the middleman is cut out so you can guarantee that you're gonna be getting premium materials for a reasonable price. Okay guys, so I wanna say it's been like three weeks since we've had the mattress now. We've been testing it out and absolutely loving it. So I sleep like right next to the bassinet and I'm a side sleeper with my knees like this. Whoa, where are you going? Anyways, I'm a side sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a side sleeper, so I sleep next to her bassinet like this. I pull my knees up and I sleep just like this. So Sam still has all of that room. And being in an RV and our mattress before, our biggest downfall was literally sleeping on top of each other. Sam is, he doesn't have a type of sleep. He's either on his back, sprawled out like a starfish, on his side, legs crisp, like you just never know with Sam. Arms flailing, so he needs a lot of space. He is six foot five, 250 pounds. He's a big boy, so he needs all his space. And once we remove the bassinet, we're gonna have even more space, which is amazing. Hands down, my favorite part is the size, the space, the comfortability, the value. Like what you pay for this is seriously not even comparable to the value. And then Sam, he would tell you his favorite part about it is the cooling technology that the mattress gives off because he's a hot sleeper. He is all about that. It keeps you super cool and comfortable throughout your sleep. So once we decided that we wanted to redo the RV, like I knew that I wanted to get a new mattress. I felt like the upgrade was just essential. The second I found out that Brooklyn Bedding carried RV mattresses and like personal size custom mattresses, I didn't even like look any further. I was like, I know this is what I want. I'm not gonna have to compromise my comfortability and bougie bed for an RV. So I was just so happy that they actually made these for the RV. Ours is the Aurora Lux cooling technology mattress. We got it in the firm RV king size and we are obsessed. So if you guys are on the lookout for a new mattress, definitely check out Brooklyn Bedding. They honestly have so many different mattress combos that you can choose from for your guys' preferences. So yeah, go check out a mattress. Just go to rvmattress.com slash Carissa and use code Carissa for 20% off of your purchase. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Amazon haul. <gasps> Amazon haul. Mwah. So we just got home. I need to take this off. I have a headache. My hair is nasty. Okay, our hair is a little flap and it's okay. By the way, speaking of hair, I am so excited. My mom got me Halo extensions. She said it's for a late birthday present, but I'm pretty sure she got me something for my birthday. We were in there, or no, we were leaving. We left Arizona the day of my birthday. Regardless, she literally gets me stuff all the time. She does not need to buy me a birthday gift. I, ever since having a baby, ever since having COVID, my hair has been falling out. They say like anytime your body goes through trauma, are you playing with my Amazon package? <laughs> that might be for you. It might be your Halloween costume. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, anytime that your body goes through trauma, it's very common that you could lose hair. So birth, COVID, trauma. So yeah, I'm getting Halo extensions. I'm so... <coughs> Choked my own sweat. Getting halo extensions, I'm so hype about it. I kind of want to like chop my real hair because I'm gonna have the extensions and then just let it grow back, but I don't know if it ever will grow back. But before I open these Amazon packages, um, I'll show you guys what she got in her love every box this month. So last month I showed you guys what she got, but somehow I accidentally ordered her the wrong age range. So last month she got the seven to eight month box. So this month we got her the five to six month, which is still super cute. There's a lot of fun things in here. So first is this rainbow ball. Get the ball? Ball! There's this thing right here, which is like a little Humpty Dumpty looking thing. But supposedly this is supposed to help them sit up straight and around like the five, six month mark is when a lot of babies start to sit up for the first time. So there's this, which she loves. It's a little color wheel. Can you do it? Can Halo do it? Yay! Yay! There's this thing, it's so cute. It's a little magic tissue box and you just pull it out and there's different little colorful tissues. Ah, did that hit on your head? Can Halo pull out the tissue? That's an orange and white tissue. Can you pull it out? Oh, yay! 
There's a book in here which is called Parts of Me and it just shows them all the different body parts. Nose, hair, mouth, ear, legs. And then last but not least is a super cute pair of little socks with these rattles on them. <gasps> so cute. So here, you can play with these. Mommy has to open up her Amazon packages. And I'm pretty sure we got you some surprises. Let's open. How cute is that? If we go to the pumpkin patch, you can wear this. Ghosts and bats and flowers. I'll have all this stuff linked down below. You guys can shop my storefront, my Amazon storefront also. I have a ton of delicious deals on there. I forgot I got this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is called Confessions of a Crappy Christian. I follow this girl. Her name is Blake um, on Instagram, and she is a Christian influencer. She has amazing, 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 like, just her posts are so inspiring and uplifting, and there's so much truth behind them. She's very bold. She's not afraid to speak the truth, and, like, she doesn't... Um, discount god if that makes sense so i don't know i really enjoy her content and it's inspiring and i really like it so i'm going to read this another halo purchase your costume's not in here oh this is cute too oh this is this is for a big baby you're a little baby what size did i get this in i think six to nine months but she's so tiny so cute though just little pumpkins pink and flowers this is for a mommy i'm so excited about this okay so this is like only a third of my Amazon orders, so probably have another haul soon. I ordered um, a different one of these too, but <gasps> are you okay? You just fall backwards, don't even care. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. It says Holy Spirit. It's a big oversized crew neck. There is flames on the arm. It is so like streetwear and vibey. And the back says Sunday service on the mountain. Oh, it's so big and comfy. This is adorable. Halo just woke up from her nap. Oh my gosh, I'm terrifying. I'm absolutely terrifying. Halo just woke up from her nap and I'm gonna go get her. She's going to probably be scared. <laughs> Hi. Hi. She's not scared of anything. She literally thinks it's funny. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you not scared of me right now? <laughs> she loves me still. I took the mask off and my face feels like a glazed donut, but it also feels super tight. Like, Botox who? It's like, Look at them lines. Can you pick out an outfit? What do you want to wear? Said so we wish it was a nice fall day, but it's kind of hot. A little bit hot. All right, let's see what you can wear. You can wear this because it's super light and cute. You like it? Okay. And then let's see what bow will match that. A black bow will be so cute. Orange bow would be cute. No, that orange is too orange. We need like a brown. This one would match. I just got rid of so many of her bows. I know it does not look like it, but. All right, when you get a pair of blue, or no, we don't need blue for that. Oh, this would be so cute with that sweater. And this little hat. Can we sit right here so I can get a cute pic? Can you sit right here so I can get a cute pic? The Grinch! No, 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 you stay still. Okay, come here. Do you see these postpartum bangs? 
these this break off why do I literally look like Tiger King <laughs> Who ordered this? Carol Baskin. Sam's outside making a bench. I will pop up like an inspo picture of what we're kind of working towards. Anyways, we have a teething grumpy baby. <laughs> so she is just gnawing on her little Frida baby teething thing. I pushed my bangs to the side. Look at all this hair coming in though. Does that make you happy? Can mama have some? Mmm. Mm. Wrong way, silly. Try to do like the hood situation <laughs> instead of a bow. All right, should we do a bow or should we go bowless today? Should we give this big head a break. The bow is just toe too. <laughs> and and <laughs> let's get into it. What's up, guys? It is another new day. I don't even know what day it is at this point, but we're doing a couple days in my life vlog. What is that? <laughs> Anyways, um, I showed you guys Don't Mind the Bed, it's not made, because I'm about to take the bassinet out, officially. Also, don't mind the wallpaper in the background. Sam started it and didn't finish it because we didn't know if we loved it, so we're like, okay, we don't know if we're gonna do it anymore, but I think we're just going, like, we have the material, so we're gonna finish it, see how it looks, and then if we don't like it, we will choose something else. But just for reference, it's going to be that entire back wall and the sides right here that have that shiplock, wallpaper we were thinking about doing it around the top as well so comment what you guys think would look best but anyways i'm here with my little booger brat teething is no joke they the sass the drama it's real halo has been sleeping in her crib throughout the night she's been taking naps in there for about a month to two months now but she's like full-on sleeping there in the night for the past three days so we're finally gonna get rid of the bassinet it's gonna clear up so much space i'm also doing some laundry just a chill day here we're not doing much i did want to let you guys know because i hold on sit down oh i guess she's gonna vlog i wanted to let you guys know that i started reading the confessions of a crappy christian can i see the vlog camera I started re oh my gosh you guys are slobbered on and my camera is about to die um i started reading the confessions of a crappy christian i was in tears i have never resonated with a book so much and look how far along i am literally not even a chapter or one chapter i have never cried at even a movie like maybe once or twice okay switching to crappy iPhone quality but I just wanted to finish telling you about the book and I'm gonna do the bassinet but I don't know what it like I just feel like I resonate so much with the author and I follow her on Instagram but you can only really know so much about a person through Instagram and through this book I already feel like I know her <laughs> and she is me I am her I don't know if you're not I'll say this if you're not in Enneagram 3 she does talk about other types of people but if you're an Enneagram 3, if you find your worth in your work, and if you find your worth in things you're accomplishing, what is on your nose? I thought that was slop. Tape? How did you get that? And if you are a victim of the hustle culture, that's not nice, then this book is for you. Yeah. Honestly, it was not even anything sad at all it was just like it was just like a weird experience i felt like i was literally standing outside of myself reading about myself like i thought i was writing this and i didn't realize carissa <laughs> you're not an author if you're similar to me in that yeah. sense that, that book could be for you yeah. i'm assuming that it's going to be all about being a crappy christian which we all are but i cannot wait to read that book because so far 
so good. All right, do you want to go take a nap or do you want to stay here while mommy does your bassinet? <laughs> I just love you so much. You better make this bed. You better make this bed, girly. You better get up here and make this bed. Lita, you better get up in there and make that bed, huh? Say, Lily, make the bed. All right. Let's attempt to do this thing. A little um, tip hack, if you will. I don't care what laundry detergent you use. You can use any, okay? If you have the Dreft Blist, Blist, Blissfuls, I think they're actually made for babies. Long lasting baby fresh scent. I've been sprinkling in this and Sam's to make him smell better. Use this in your wash and then these dry your sheets, the Downy Bliss. They have Downy Calm, which I also like, but this, it just takes a cake. I literally, oh my gosh. It's the best smelling smell I've ever smelled. good you can't eat it though Lily what do you think yeah that's a good good oh my goodness old McDonald had a myself with lupus and I don't know anytime I try to grasp things with my hands they get so weak and they hurt so bad and is that what lupus is I think like I googled it not me literally letting what MD tell me I have lupus okay we're not doing it hey little stay right here baby all right well I did enough <laughs> I'm going to put it in the living room and let Sam take it apart when he gets home. And then we'll just store it up in the loft for baby sister, baby brother. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> you know, just one day. I'm going to come in here and make the bed and finish the laundry. <laughs> clocking out after doing one load of laundry <laughs> snack break here's the best net so remember earlier in the vlog when i was telling you about my mohawk please tell me it gets better anyways two more important things snacks these are so good they are dark chocolate covered frozen bananas they're by dole and they're dippers and they're only 100 calories per pack oh back up lily get down they're so good but to make them even better girl crunchy peanut butter if you aren't a crunchy peanut butter person first of all why second of all okay use your whack creamy i'll be using crunchy oh her every bite if you've been around for a while you know that when i like food my shoulders go like this so the place we were camper parked has a package center it's like a package center for the rv park and they probably think i'm crazy because i've literally been there the past four days in a row getting something but yesterday i went there to go pick up halo's birth certificate because it said it was delivered and they said they didn't have it so i checked online the tracking number everything and they have proof of delivery so i'm gonna go back there again today and be like can you look again because I need that but when i was there yesterday they did have a package for me and it was my bible study package so i'll show you guys what was in that from drug play 
I gotta carry this with me because I don't trust you. Okay, so don't mind the weed whacker out there. Um, but but J Clay popped off. She sent this whole. She hooked us up. She got us ready. I'm so excited for J Clay to be our Bible study teacher. But yeah, I can't wait to actually meet some of you guys in the Bible study. We opened it up to anyone that wanted to join, and we had like 21 spots or whatever. And I'm so excited to meet some of you guys because like obviously I pretty much know all of you through social media already But to like virtually meet people is gonna be so much fun and we'll probably do these Bible studies um, Continuously like take little breaks and then get back to them But this one is a four week long every single Thursday Bible study with the girls and it's like a girls night and we're gonna hang out and chat and read the Bible So it's gonna be fun. I really need to clean but Oh, I'm still on lunch break. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to read my book, hang out by myself while my baby's sleeping, have some mama me time. And don't forget to check out rvmattress.com slash carissa to check out Brooklyn Bedding's RV mattresses or any mattresses for that matter. If you're interested, thank you again to Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. And I'm going to end the vlog here. And if you guys could and would leave me a comment down below and a thumbs up, it really supports my channel and it would mean the world to me. And I love you guys. Times a million, really, truly. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.